Hey, what's going on, all you ghouls and goats? My name is Mike Macabra, and welcome to the graveyard. As always, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos, Friday Night Frights, Mouthing Up with Mike Macabra, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But on tonight's episode, we have another special edition of reviews and reactions with our Halloween kill spooky season coming at you. <laughs> ah, my favorite time of the year. But I do digress. Uh, we're going to be reacting to Frank Zappa. Okay, coming on his debut on the channel. Frank Zappa with his song, The Torture Never Stops. And if you know anything about Frank Zappa... Oh boy, you're in for some. You're in for a real treat, I'll say. <laughs> um, I don't know a whole lot of Frank Zappa, but uh, anything off the album Apostrophe, I absolutely adore. And there was Plastic Barbie, Mannequin or Zoot Zoot Suit Allures. There was the Food Album. I forget what that's called. I remember it being called the Food Album. I he, he is a musical genius. I, I watched a video of his. Oh, God. He had, a, like, a suit on. He was looking clean cut. And he played the bicycle. Every single inst or, uh, part of that bike he used to his genius credit perfectly. It's here on YouTube. Um, actually, I'll post a, a link there for that because it's it's spectacular. And, the like, the interviewer guy was kind of like, Oh, how do you play a bicycle? Like, in a very condescending tone. And Frank Zappa is one smart motherfucker, I, I will say that. But, again, I do digress. Link to that original video will be down in the description box. For your feeling pleasure, at your leisure. And this request comes to us by Stephen Fritchie. Thank you again for that lovely, lovely request. As always, going into this blind with my off-the-cuff comments, if I recognize a song, I'll definitely let everybody know. I'm going to be as transparent as possible, because it's very well likely that I've heard this, but I can't guarantee it. It doesn't resonate with me in any way, shape, or form, but I've heard quite a bit of Frank Zappa, so I don't always know his songs. But I do a digress yet again. <laughs> if you'd like to have any other reactions done on this channel... Please look in the description box of this video on directions on how to do that. But no more ghouling around. Let's check it out. All right. Ghouls and ghosts. Frank Zappa, the torture never stops. Apparently it's live. I I've never seen Frank Zappa live either. So that's another first. Uh, yeah, I'll take that in count for uh, score. Calm down. We're now going to perform a traditional Halloween number. Flies all green and buzzing in a dungeon of despair. Prisoners grumble and kiss their clothes and scratch their matted hair. A tiny little light from a window hole a hundred yards away. Very typical is all they ever get to know about the regular life in the day. And it stinks so bad, the storm's been choking and the rain is drops. In the room where the giant fire above works and the torture never stops. The torture never stops. The torture. The torture. The torture never stops. Slamming, riding, rats and snot and vomit 
on the floor. Fifty ugly soldiers, man, holding spears by the iron door. Knives and spikes and guns and the legs of every tool of pain. And a sinister midget with a bucket and a mop. A sinister little midget with a bucket and a mop. A sinister little midget with a bucket and a mop where the blood goes down the drain. Here is his signature comedy. It so bad, the stone's been choking. We've been really In the room where the giant fire bubble works, and the torture never stops. The torture never stops. The torture. The torture. The torture never stops. Field change yet again. Flies all green and buzzing. In his dungeon of despair, an evil prince eats a steaming pig in a chamber right near there. He eats the snouts and the trotters first. The loins and the groins are soon dispersed. His carving style is well rehearsed. I hear a saxophone. He stands and shouts, that's right. All men be cursed. All men be cursed. All men be cursed. And disagree, that's right. Well, hey, no one dares. He's the best, of course, of all the worst. He's the best, of course, of all the worst. Some are wrong of being done, he has done it first. And he stinks so bad, his bones been choking. In greenish drops, in the night of the iron sausage, where the torture never stops. The torture never stops. The torture, the torture, the torture never stops. That's right. that tone there.
flies all green and buzzing in his dungeon of despair. Who are all these people that he's locked away down there? Are they crazy? Are they sainted? Well, it's never been explained uh, since at first it was created. But a dungeon, just like a sin, requires not locking in of everything that's ever been. Look at her. Look at him. That's what's the deal we're dealing in. 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 They wouldn't allow that anymore. I figured his crowd would be as eccentric as he is. Nice, kicking a little time out. But you want this? No way. Oh, how cute. Who is that guy? Do I keep this? I keep this? All right. <laughs> I like that, taking time out for the crowd. You know, just kind of being, you know, just a nice host, I guess. Engaging with the fans, not just, you know, I'm bigger than thou, holier than thou. Down to earth, man, for sure. <laughs> but there's a lot to be said about this one. So, see in the review section. All right, ghouls and ghosts. That was Frank Zappa with his live rendition of The Torture Never Stops. Link to that original video will be down in the description box. Free viewing pleasure at your leisure. And this request again comes to us by Stephen Fritchie. Thank you again for that lovely lovely request oh um i mean what, what what to be said about frank zappa that hasn't already been said musical genius lyrical genius he's the only person that could tell a story so deadpan but at the same time be whimsical in that deadpan nobody does deadpan better than him oh. his even his moving was <laughs> I'm not taking myself too seriously and very deadpan and then he kind of like fake f flashed the crowd or maybe he did I don't know but um, I didn't know what to expect from a live show from Frank Zappa but uh, uh, now that I've seen it that's what I would exactly expect from a Frank Zappa show <laughs> uh his quirks, his little things he does on stage, it's just so infectious. Uh, he, he tells these long stories 
that when you when you hear them at first, you seem like they're going nowhere. But then you take a deeper look at them, and there's like just so much to be said. Like my favorite uh, part of this would be towards the end. The flies are all green and buzzing in the dungeon of despair. Who are all those people that is shut away down there? Are they crazy? Are they sainted? Are they heroes? Someone painted? Someone painted? Are they isms? Later ornated? Once they come, they've been tainted. Once they come, they've been tainted. Never been explained since at first it was created. But a dungeon and his kin require naught but locking in of anything that's been. Could be a her, but it's probably a him. Could be a her, but it's probably a him. It's what's the deal we're dealing in. It's what's the deal we're dealing in. And he stinks so bad it hurts to the per per a pearl and the piles of blast. Any dungeon have a trailer where the torture never stops. Torture, torture never stops. Talking to you, torture never stops. Uh, to me, that it, it's just pure genius in my eyes. The... The, the, the thing that was striking to me about this particular stanza was are they crazy? Are they sainted? Juxtaposition to one another? Are they heroes? Someone painted fictitious stories throughout history where these heroes may not have been heroes were painted in a certain way by who's ever telling the story. Biblical is a big big thing like that someone painted again I, there was a picture towards the end of people being dressed up in costumes so I, I don't know if it, if it was actually on Halloween or not if it was absolutely fantastic but there was a guy with a painted white face and he had a, a cross a red cross I do believe that was on his forehead and that's indicative of um, voodoo culture and that's what I think uh, the someone painted. That's what it immediately reminded me of. Are they isms? All the isms is, is just oozing and oozing this this genius. Later ornated things like patriotism. Let's say an example has been later in the in at least in the American culture, been ornate, especially after 9-11, where it's this holier-than-thou kind of thing. So, I mean, it's just absolutely fantastic. Stage presence, he was commanding on stage without really moving or doing a whole lot. His body told a story. He was conducting the band at the beginning like a... a um, uh, I forget what they're called. A conductor, I guess. Uh, in the classical sense. I actually got to see him on guitar. Uh, he was just kind of free-forming, I thought. I could tell he... he it wasn't sort of a flub, but he kind of like stopped for a second. And he continued with this kind of going with it. Again, deadpan vocals. Great stage presence. The lighting was really good, too. It was simple, but I thought it was very effective. The The screams from the uh, the backup guitarists were on point as well. At first, I thought they were kind of goofy, but the more I kind of settled into the song, it was kind of kind of creepy to me. Uh, I, I, I For the first half, I just couldn't help smiling. He's just... He just hits me in a way that no other musician does. I don't know what it is about him that I just resonate so much with his style. It was kind of funky, but not in a very traditional way. A lot of different instrumentation with those bells or those... Um, uh, they're like tubes, I guess. Like metal tubes. I don't, I don't know what they're called. They had saxophone at one point. Obviously, the bass, the backup drum, or uh, backup guitars. Everything just seemed to fit. I, one thing I, I, I noticed a lot about you have to pay attention to a lot of his his themes in music, which which obviously come from the lyrics because he can be talking about one thing, 
and is so ambiguous that it could mean something completely different. And it very, I noticed I noticed that a lot in his overtly sexual songs. Uh, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, I don't remember the name of the song, but it, it talks about a stripper who is looking like Barbie, who is a plastic blow-up doll. And that's all I'm going to say about that one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> great song, great song. But I do digress. Score, I can go on and on, blah, 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 blah. But let's, let's cut down right to a score. I am going to give this 4.5 scores out of 5. Absolutely happy with that score for all the reasons I just stated. Now, for as lyrically, as good as the lyrics were, I should say, and his deadpan, I've heard better from Frank Zappa. I have songs that resonate with me more than this one. Uh, it's pretty simple musically. Uh, it, like I said, he, I love his overall story style lyrics being deadpan, but also being comedic. He had comedic parts in it as well, which is which Frank Zapp is uh, uh, very known for. It's just it, nothing that blew my mind. It was very typical Zappa. So something to be said about that. I'm not saying it's a bad song by any stretch of the imagination. It's quite good, but it's just. I don't know in the scale of what's, you know, what's the high, like the top tier songs versus some of the lower stuff. And even the lower stuff could be higher just, you know, because he has that kind of musical genius. I know he went to school for for music, so he, he is um, classically trained, musically speaking. So to do what he does and make it his own and goofy and comedic, and all of this is just, it's phenomenal. So I think the scale might be swayed a little bit where some people are like, well, this, you know, this is boring or this is that. I don't like his style. Like, I, I can get that. But there there is no denying of his musical genius. And I'll just leave it at that. But I think that's going to be it for this episode or special episode of reviews and reactions with our Halloween Q. As always, if you like what you saw, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos, Friday Night Frights, Mouthing Up with Mike Macabre, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But as always, ghouls and ghosts, stay scared. <laughs>